So, hi guys! It's Hero here today and we're gonna do channeling with Archangel Tremel. And I've spoken to him just now that we are going to do the most popular question Who is my soulmate and how will my soulmate be? Okay, what I'm going to do is that uh, you will pick a crystal that you like and then we are going to go through the each message that Archangel Chemo is going to tell you like things about um, your soulmate uh, what is his personality, how are you going to meet him and things like that okay I'm going to ask him some questions that you would like to know on how you can get to know your soulmate alright so if you're you know, if this is your first time here on my channel, uh, just to let you know that uh, what I do during this channeling is that I would use uh, coloring materials like markers. Okay, he can tell me things in terms of symbols or images or even writing. So there will be different kind of um, ways to tell you the message and he might also give you some other insights that uh, you may have thought of so yep okay i'm going to check if if chemi was ready he says he's ready okay and i'm ready to da -da -da -da. Once, yeah so if you like this video and you hope to see more of such videos, channeling, spiritual communication or psychic reading, do give me a thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel that is right below this video. And I will really really thank you very much <laughs> on that. Yeah, and you will help me to continue to uh, go on with my work. Yep. And if you are interested with getting your own reading, asking Archangels like Michael or Gabriel or Raffo or even uh, Chamil to find out more about certain situations in your uh, you know in your life, then you know you can find me in Etsy. The link is right below in the description. And once you are ready, let's dive in. Da -da 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 -da. Can I put this to a crystal? Here. Okay. That's a lot of stuff inside. <laughs> Oops. Okay, so Archangel Chamil, this tell me how will this person who have picked this crystal and this video soulmate will be like okay I'm hearing okay, hearing the word happy it's bright bright and happy person Happy go lucky. Smells a lot. This person will be like your sunshine. He's going to be someone who brightens up your life. Hearing a lot of words that has to do with happy. Hmm. Okay, he's trying to say that um, this person that you're going to meet is going to be bright and happy, um, happy go lucky. Someone who's very smiley and sunshine person. I can see that it has to do with like um 
this person will be pretty active in terms of uh, physical you know I just saw this image that has to do with the sunset and probably this person that you like likes to do activities that has to do with water like maybe surfboarding or going to the beach Oh, he says that this person is going to look very attractive, okay, because of his charms, you know, his natural charms. When you see someone who's very smiley, very bright, you would naturally feel charmed to him. So that is his nature. Handsome person. Well, okay, let me just write it here. Handsome guy. Or someone that's pretty. Okay. Oh, so what Chamber is trying to say, how you're going to meet this person is through an event outdoor I'm seeing something outdoor and you approach this person because of their appearance and you just want to have a talk with them so well um yep and i can see that the background has to do with the beach you'll probably meet at the beach or you know like outdoor events and outdoor and you will approach them first, your soulmate and start talking for the reason why you talk to them and approach them first is because that they look attractive anyway because you know as a soulmate um, you know, it is a natural instinct for you to to feel attracted to this person because you know the two of you are fated to be together. So it's a natural thing, I feel. <laughs> yep, and but um, your soulmate would be totally. Um, you know, he or she is going to be looking really attractive that your eyes couldn't get off from this person. Mm, it will probably be... You know, you, you... So the situation happens when you are with your friends. Um, and you know your friends encourage you to speak to them when you're with your friends they encourage you hmm. no, and how the relationship is going to be like when you're with your soulmate well 
I'm seeing something that's like your soulmate seems to have a partner before you found them. Okay, I saw an opposite gender that approach your soulmate as you were speaking to them and you realize that probably your soulmate is not single or maybe there's someone who is actually trying to chase after your soulmate because you know, he's like a man magnet um, he's so attractive that he magnets a lot of people hmm. Okay, so how you're going to know your soulmate is when you um when I mean, I mean like when you found your soulmate and trying to speak to him or her, he or she seems to have a partner. A partner before you even met them, and and how are you going to progress with your soulmate when they have another partner? Getting messages. You know, it's going to take a while before your soulmate actually let go of this partner that he has. It probably will take about six to nine months to break off. Well, you kind of let me feel that it's like a it might be like a cheating case but anyway you know if this person is really faded for you then they will be yours so okay six to nine months to break off and meanwhile while he or she has a partner in that period of time So both of you kind of like hang out uh, about um, I would say like twice or once a week thing and you'll be like chatting occasionally And then when, how do you know when they are going to break off? Is when they, yep, I think that the partner has, the partner that your soulmate has at this point of time seems to have some kind of high expectation for your soulmate and it seems like your soulmate couldn't meet up to the expectation so they are and then they start to have a um, dispute or arguments during this period of time maybe dispute happens in like three months And then you get sour until they decided to break off. Yep. They do to high expectation. This is how you guys would get 
together and how you're going to meet one another. I'm trying to ask Chamil what are some of the things that your soulmate would like and what are some of the things that interest your soulmate and it makes him or her interesting. Oh, I'm hearing music here. So your soulmate likes music. Probably they play music too. The instruments. Like cats. And also me like cats. Burger. <laughs> I'm hearing the word burger. Oh, it makes me hungry. Hmm. I'm seeing a red car. It's like an old fashioned kind of red car. Like the classical kind. Or maybe it's like a collector. It has to do with car. So it kind of made me feel that your soulmate is the kind that is very aesthetic and trendy. Pretty much like things that mm, yeah, that looks nice. Like decent and pleasant things like that. And your soulmate is someone who is active. Yeah. Is there anything that I can know about the soulmate? Yeah. I'm seeing vegetables. We like planting too. Well, you might like plants or gardening. Or probably he has a garden at home, so. Hmm. Okay, well, so those are the details that you may want to know about your soulmate. And if you happen to see him or her on the street and you felt that two of you are like soulmates so these are some of the things that you can chat with your soulmates like can chat about music, cats, burger mm. yep okay so hmm and when are you going to meet them? Chamil, may I know how they meet the soulmate? Okay, I'm hearing about in 8 months time you will meet your soulmate. So maybe you can start counting down from today, from this month July to 8 months is about mm. Let's see um, August, September, October, November, December December to January, February, March So that will be March next year 2022 Okay, what else should we know about your soulmate? Okay, maybe can I know about the soulmate's appearance? How would they look like? I don't know, from the start I kept feeling that your soulmate would look tan. Kind of tan. With muscle. Like toned muscles. Kind of toned. 
like you can probably see like a little bit of the outline of the muscle really be slim they're kind of slim but because of the muscle it looks a little bulky mm, just normal size What else should I know about the appearance? He or she probably likes red color. Maybe he wear it like a red color clothing or cap or holding on to something that is red color. Because it just shows me that he likes a red car, so he probably likes something that's to red. red. Mm hmm. Shamu, is there anything that I need to know about the soulmate? If there is none, then I will just summarize the whole thing. Okay, he says no. And let's go through this entire picture. I know it's a little messy. I like I have my things here and there in all different colors. Okay, I'm supposed to draw symbols, but it seems like Chamil didn't um, ask me to do that. And instead, he gave me a lot of images and I would just jot it down here. If you would see my the other video, um, my previous video, I would do a lot of um, symbolings and drawings on that. And it's really, really interesting. Okay, so what is your soulmate's personality what is he or she like he or she is like someone who is bright happy um having go lucky pretty okay with people um telling them all then they would be like just laughing ha 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 and they're some sort of person who's smiley uh they're the sunshine kind of personality when you see them, you feel like, wow, you feel very great with them, you feel very comfortable, they are warm and um, friendly. They gave me, I just had one image telling me that your, um, your soulmate might look happy on the front. But uh, if someone goes beyond the limit, like uh, going over the border, then they would be really really scary but I mean of course everybody has their own limits it's just that your um, soulmate if someone offended them really really too much I mean your soulmate has a very good level of tolerance once the tolerance limit has reached and yeah he or she will be really scary okay um, so how you meet them is probably on the beach or your soulmate probably likes beach um, maybe surfboarding or you know sun tanning on the beach or playing some sports down there so um, it could be also events that has to do with uh, near the sea okay and you would see the sunset at that point of time and that is when you see your soulmate. He and you will be the first one approaching them and start talking to them because you feel that whoa, this um guy or lady is really attractive. I it's so handsome or pretty that you really really want to speak to them. Okay, and when you are with your friends they encourage you to speak to them they're like hey this guy is really cute or oh, this girl is really cute yeah i think um you know you should go and have a chat with them have a hit you know and however when as you're chatting with your soulmate he or she seems to have a partner so you might have to be really patient with this if you want to go forward with um, you want to continue with your soulmates and it's gonna take six to nine months for them to break off it's um, faded for them to break off because there is some vibe that is wrong with them as I can feel right here 
dispute for three months. Yeah, and the dispute will start happening in three months time because the partner has some sort of um, expectation for your soulmate. But anyway, um, you just probably have to wait for about nine to six months for them to break off and you meet them. And during those times, you guys will like go hang out for twice or once a week. Um, chatting on the phone occasionally and what you guys would probably do is I'm seeing arcade or maybe you guys would just go and play games together oh yeah and have a lot of food in the fast food restaurants because your soulmate probably um, likes a lot of burger yeah and so and you guys might have to do um, things with uh, music, instruments like either one of you would be able to play a certain type of music yep and you guys like cats and burger um, so your soulmate particularly likes red car and something that is pretty old fashioned and I find it classical because they're people who really likes car and they like the type of collections you know, like all years of collections of cars and I mean that's really really cool uh, and gardening I see something that has to do with vegetables but um, well we will find out <laughs> okay so uh, how you're going to I mean when are you going to meet them it will be probably in March 20 22. I know it's a long period of time. Well, um, yep, have a um, have your time enjoyed as a single. <laughs> yeah, yep, and do have some patience because it takes time. And this is something that uh, is written down in your fate that you will meet them in eight months and how they would look like is they maybe have a tan skin color um muscular tone kind of body shape um and a normal body shape not too bulky but might look a little bulky because of their muscles um, and they like red color really really like red color so that is something that you might spot them on yep so do let me know your thoughts about um, your soulmate and we'll see how it goes like ta-da alright let's hop on to the next crystal Someone was calm, very cooling, cool guy. Mm, I have a spectacle vision. Probably he wears spectacle. I'm sorry, that's my chair. Uh, it's very cooling. He might look normal or a little bit nerdy. A little nerdy. <laughs> okay, and they like to wear. Hmm, how would I describe that? not very fashionable but still okay to me not very fashionable in terms of the dressing or clothing hmm. 
but they are really soft and sweet in a way. Your soulmate might be a little um, this introvert. Okay, they might be an introvert. I'm getting a feeling like they, yeah, because they are a little nerdy, so they might also be an introvert. But they are pretty okay when it goes on a group gathering and they are good with chatting with their friends, so they are kind of the kind that is slow to warm. To warm personality. They are not pushy, not very pushy in terms of what they want, and they are independent. In things that they do, so I feel that the independent part makes them attractive to you. And how are you guys going to meet one another? I'm seeing orange color. So, um, looks like somewhere to eat. Oh, it's a social gathering. Okay, might have to do with your colleagues. How are you guys gonna meet? Uh, Social gathering at an eatery place. Or, you know, um, a restaurant, a fast food restaurant. Somewhere where your company or your colleagues would organize. Okay, has to do with colleagues. So they caught up mm, friends from uh from different department or it's like a it's a gathering where you are allowed to bring your friends or caught up uh the the different departments in the company. So you might be working in a company that has different outlets I'm getting the message that your soulmate is sitting quietly at a corner maybe chatting with a friend occasionally at the social gathering and you felt that you might want to break the ice so you decided to approach her okay you approached her well we thought that you could um, help her to to be more open in this social gathering you just wanted to help her and and trying to um, to be more familiar with the people out there and then you kind of um, speak to her or him casually like how's things going 
how was the food and all so I had a chat with her chat with them and after that you realize that she, she is she or he is a very interesting person like they have some common interests of you and okay we will talk about the common interests later on um we will see how things goes like and how did the both of you end up together okay so we put her and had a chat um And then I think you didn't manage to get her number, but one of the colleagues gave you her number. Well, colleague gave you the number. After um, the gathering ended, So we kind of ask um, them whether they would want to come out and have a, you know, to, to have a chat or have a, a meet up and all. So both of you started to hang out together occasionally. Three months and it's a big one to be in a relationship. R S. The big one, and when you um your soulmate kind of like you on the first day, and they hardly you know have someone goes to them uh approach them like. It's, uh, you know, like, like they even know each other, uh, so you are pretty friendly to them, and it makes them feel very comfortable. So they kind of took the liking to you when you did that. Okay, so we are going to find out um, when would you be meeting your soulmate? So it's telling me in 8 months time you will meet them in 8 months time which is in March 2020 next year And what are some of the things that they like? Here I got a pink marker. Oh. I'm hearing flowers. Mm. Sweet food. So it can be like desserts or snacks. Things that are sweet. <laughs> I'm seeing Hello Kitty. Or oh, maybe they like mm, cartoon, I mean, cartoonish stuff. Something that's cute. Cute stuff. Little animals. They will 
also probably like hmm, really pretty things. Okay, I mean, if you're so much a guy, they wouldn't like Hello Kitty, but he might also like things that are cute. Okay, maybe like anime. This sounds like. This sounds a little nerdy to me. Like anime, but I mean it's fine because everybody has their own um, likings to stuff. So if let's say you were to meet your soulmate, then this could be some of the topics that you might want to talk to them and find out more. Okay, and we are going to find out how they look like. I'm seeing brown. Okay, as what I know is that they probably put on the spectacle, so that's one of it. It's either if he's a guy, then he would have hairstyle like that, if this is the face, or if it's a girl, then look like that maybe okay just like a normal and neat hairstyle like not much um not much uh, styling on your hair natural style because that's what we know that he or she is not really very fashionable so she would just keep it simple what else would it look like? It's either that she would wear a long dress or he would wear long pants. You know, something really, really simple. And they would look pretty normal, like um, someone who is pretty quiet, kind of look. And yeah, minding their own business. Okay, so these are what your soulmate could be like, as what Chamel has said. Let me see if Chamel has anything else to say. Well, he says this is good. I mean, the information is good enough. So we're going to summarize this entire thing together. Let's put all this puzzle piece together. Your soulmate is someone who is very calm, cooling. Um, they look kind of normal as what we can see here. Um, and a little bit nerdy because of the spectacle, but they're kind of cool. They're pretty fun people, like, you know, they, they like cute stuff. Um, if you have to ask about um, their style of wearing clothes, they are not the kind that is very fashionable, but they wear pleasantly that looks decent enough, like maybe going for a really casual, um, casual style um, kind of like the office look and and they are kind of soft you know very soft kind of person um, they might look kind of introvert 
like because they're quiet, they're the personality. I mean, their personalities like that, and they might be a little more quiet when compares to a social gathering when they're in a group. Yeah, but they are really nice people because it takes time for them to get that engine up and start to talk to someone else. And they are quite approachable, that's, a, that's what I could see. Approachable, they are not the pushy kind of people, they just, um, they are okay. And they are pretty independent, so there is no need to do, um, yeah, you don't have to do more than you need that to, but I mean still do give them some attention if they are your partner, right? Okay, so how you're going to meet them is you're going to meet them in a social gathering, probably like an eating place, like a fast food restaurant that has to do with your colleagues. Okay, it could be like a company dinner or it could be like a group session with your colleagues and they kind of caught their friends in and people from the other departments so how you met your soulmate is that you notice that they are sitting quietly among the group as what we have mentioned here and um, yeah or probably your um, soulmate is sitting down there maybe have a small chat with their friends and that's it and then they're just sitting down there quietly so you notice this person and you decided that you want to approach them to have a chat like um, where do they come from, uh, what do you do and stuff like that and so after the session, the social gathering session you know you ask your colleague about her or maybe your colleague noticed that you kind of um, take liking to um, this person then they would share um, they are numbers to you so this is when you start hanging out with your soulmate and probably in three months time you guys would be in a relationship together so I felt that this is something that you would like and your soulmate would like I mean that is something that is common between the two of you so you probably like flowers or gardening things that smells nice Okay, it can be like perfume, anyway, you know, like um, nice smelling stuff or, you know, comes from flowers. I mean, they do come from chemicals, but uh, it's all inspired by flowers. So it could be something sweet um, and nice smelling. It can be like aroma oil, aroma therapy, and your soulmate. And you probably like sweet stuff like snacks, desserts, candies, stuff around that. And it's telling me that you guys would maybe like Hello Kitty or anime things that are cute or even like little animals. So pretty much that your soulmate likes pretty things or cute stuff and that's pretty funny <laughs> yeah I mean it's pretty cool and you know this is what makes you and them connected and how you're going to know that this person is your soulmate your soulmate doesn't really like to dress up your soulmate didn't like to dress up too fancy so they maybe look a little plain like if it's a guy then he will look like that or if it's a girl the hair will look neat and um, maybe medium long they will wear long pants or long dress you know kind of that they are not the kind where they reveal too much on their body they are trying not to be a spot like they are trying not to be a spot like 
among the group so um, this is how you can spot them and they will normally be quiet and minding their own business in a group so this is what uh, you might want to look for when you're going for a social gathering and how you're going to meet them is maybe next year around March so you might want to be a little patient about this and you will meet them the next year all right okay so i'm moving on to the next question okay so i'm moving on to the next crystal yay okay so this is our last crystal for the day for how is my soulmate will be like I want to know their personality what's their personality like okay I'm getting the word calm using the blue marker Hearing beautiful, elegant, wow. They are perfectionists. They might be, <laughs> they might be a little OCD. If you want to know what's OCD, it's um, a disorder with cleaning. I mean, they don't have, uh, they don't necessarily have to be diagnosed with that. But it, I mean, it's just a term for me to say someone who really, really likes clean and their stuff to be neat and. Um, they don't allow messy things so I mean that's a good thing if they like cleaning stuff and you don't have to do much of that <laughs> okay so Hearing the word brooch, is that like a badge that they wear? It sounds like they are pretty elegant. They like to dress up, they dress well. Mm, they kind of like to how do I say that um, they kind of look at their appearance seriously like they really want to appear really um, beautiful elegant looking really handsome They might be a little picky in things that they do. Hmm. Okay. Just one more word. I'm hearing the word your soulmate. Okay, so this is your soulmate's personality and we're going to find out how are you going to meet them. I'm getting the orange marker. This looks 
like a um, restaurant, a pretty high end restaurant, I would say. High class restaurants where you have your fine dining. be in a fine dining place with your soulmate you are there for a family gathering and you noticed your soulmate standing outside the restaurant smoking I mean they're staying outside alone doing something but I'm getting the message that they're smoking and probably you are smoking too so it's just like the two of you there or maybe a few people out there and kind of you guys um, have a chat there and then oh and your soulmate will start asking you for your number Yep, so I guess you guys had some central experience. Okay. And then this is pretty fast, like this event is gonna happen in like three months time. So in the next three months you'll meet your soulmate in this scenario. Mm, so which is this is July, August, September, October, around October. You meet them in October two zero two one. And okay, so back to the question: How long will you guys get together? It's pretty fast, about two weeks to one month. Oh, that's really fast. I mean. I mean, your uh, soulmate would meet up to your liking because of their elegant look and they look really um, pretty handsome in the elegant way that attracts you. And we are going to find out what is their... What is something that they like I'm seeing green color pale green mm, plants mm, maybe they like gardening or designs that have to do with plants you know, like the architect, um, you know, like the interior designs with leaves, you know, or maybe they are someone that has to do with design, or your soulmate could be a designer in some ways. He, they, <laughs> they like fine dining. like Italian style of fine dining uh, 
I'm hearing mineral water mm, they kind of um, they are pretty self-conscious on their health that they drink water with high minerals and that is something that makes them healthy I'm seeing greens like grasses do you like salads? It's telling me that there is not much things that your soulmate likes. Your soulmate probably um, have their world revolve around them. Like they always thought about us, you know, on their appearance, and that is their hobby. That is something that it like. So maybe you can chat with them like brands, big brands, <laughs> uh, things that has to do with fashion, designs, and that is what they like to talk about. And I'm, you know, this part was um, written with green, so your soulmate would probably like green very much <laughs> okay so we are going to find out what would your soulmate look like here I got a black marker it looks like we're gonna do a little drawing I'm seeing a little long fringe here okay so this is the face and really long fringe I'm curving out oh so your soulmate probably would have curly hair hmm well if it's a lady then she will look like that okay with curly hair with a nice curl at the end of the hair Hmm, they probably like suits. Okay, I'm not quite good with drawing, but I'm trying to draw what came up to my mind. Little lady should wear like really nice gown. Hmm. And I can smell perfume from them, like heavy perfume or you know hairspray that they use and it smells really great. I mean I couldn't tell what kind of perfume that they are wearing because I don't really go into um, the different kind of smells so yep all I can tell you is heavy perfume and yep so I guess this is what we have for your soulmate okay I'm gonna ask Angel Chamil whether there is anything else oh he says there is something else he wants to say I'm getting flowers again. Flowers. You guys would be at the garden. Okay. So maybe what you would, um, how you would meet them is outside the restaurant where there is gardens with 
pink flowers. So this is some hints that Chami would like to tell you. And no, no more. <laughs> no more message anymore. So So I'm gonna summarize this whole puzzle piece together and help you to um, understand the um, how your soulmate would be coming like so your soulmate's personality is somewhat calm, beautiful, elegant someone who is a perfectionist uh, they could be a little OCD like they really like neat things they like to clean up they want to make sure everything that they do is clean and it's up to their standard brooch hmm don't they have a liking for brooch well <laughs> and they kind of dress well like they dress really nicely whenever they go out they are very into their appearance so they would always um, you know decide what they want to wear and decide whether it's really good enough for them to go out or not they're kind of picky that's what I can see because they are kind of OCD and they are definitely your soulmates yeah and how you um, and you're going to meet them and you're going to meet them in three months time which is around October 2021 how you're going to meet them is you would meet them in a restaurant a high class restaurant that has fine dinings and you're there probably with your family eating something and you wanted to get out of the restaurant for a while like maybe take a break or a smoke break or you have a call outside so you left the restaurant for a while and then at the smoking area you found your soulmate okay and then you guys had a chat together then your soulmate asked for your number so after that what happened was uh, you guys had uh, meetups or maybe you guys had some sensual experience and it was a very fast going thing so in about two to um, two weeks to one month you guys would be together in a relationship and what are some of the things that your soulmate likes to talk about they would um, like to talk about designs fashions or branded stuff because that is something that um, they like and it has to do with the appearance um, if you have to talk about designs, maybe they like things that have to do with plants. Maybe the clothes that they wear has like plant designs, flower designs, and they are pretty health conscious. So they like wine dining, particularly has to do with Italian food. They also like to drink a lot of mineral water that is full of minerals. I mean, you do know that there are different type of mineral water and um, some that are uh, you know, not so mineral and there are some with a lot of minerals so your soulmate likes the one with more minerals like a lot of minerals because it keeps them healthy and they like healthy food like salads yep and yeah, you guys can talk about brands and fashion together they would probably look like that and I have a feeling that they have curly hair if it's a guy you would look like that or if it's a girl would look like that with a curl at the end of the hair just like the same as a guy with the curl at the end of the hair they dress really well like really decent and really formal I mean it's like a casual formal, smart formal and um, you could smell the heavy perfume around them like from far and then you, know, you guys would meet each other probably with somewhere that has to do with pink flowers okay it could be in a garden it could also be like um, some things on the floor with pink flowers or 
someone holding on a pink flower somewhere or a poster with pink flowers so these are some of the hints that um, you can see when you meet your soulmate yep so that's about it <laughs> this are uh, the message that Shami would like you to know about your soulmate and do let me and do let me know um, how things goes like and you can always comment uh, right below <laughs> this video okay so thank you for watching this video and I hope things goes well for you and you'll find your soulmate okay, bye 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 bye